hi guys welcome back to my channel for those of you meeting me for the first time my name is genevieve thank you for clicking on this video on this channel i share a lot of tips that have to do with motherhood parenting with all the life that revolves around it and to all my returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos this month of june we're going to be having a lot of girl talk and conversations that has to do with feminine hygiene we started already with the personal grooming and we're going to have a lot of mass goods permit me some places are going to be chopping breakfast but i want you to understand that this is not to shame anybody this is not to you know uh abuse anyone but it's just an opportunity for us to readjust and reevaluate some of the things that we've not been doing right especially as women and knowing that as mothers and as women generally we go all about the things that we have to do and we kind of shove our own um, personal hygiene and grooming we shove it at one corner only a few people who are intentional about you know keeping up and all will come out and you don't look like everything that you've been through so the essence of this series is just to remind us of some of the things that we've been hearing in the past and we feel like okay they are normal it's not even like we are practicing them just like we've gotten used to hearing them and and just got used to it like today we are going to be talking about our pants pants some people call it pants pants i don't know but pants the one we wear under our garments okay so i shared a video on instagram on my reels and if you're not following me on instagram please you should at gist with underscore genevieve i'll leave my handle up there so follow me on instagram i'm a cool kid on instagram so you're going to enjoy me on instagram okay lots of reels so guys back to what i was saying i shared a reel on instagram about taking your pants outside and a lot of people unfollowed me i simply said if you have your pants in your bathroom take it outside and a lot of people unfollowed me so let's say thank god they don't wear pants i shared an article about the reasons why your pants should be outside not inside and a lot of people did not did this sit for a lot of people but then sometimes this encouraged me and told me that actually that they've been hearing me take your pants outside but it took time to read the article i shared and then that was why the Found out the reasons why you really need to take your pants outside. How you take care of your pants, it says a lot about you know your confidence, a lot about your personality, and a lot about your health, vagina health. Okay, you know that a lot of activity goes down around the vagina. The vagina is never dry. If your vagina is dry, there is a problem. You, you know, it's prone to infection because it's always moist. There's always discharge, which is healthy. Vaginal discharge is very, very healthy. And the pH of a vagina, you know, everyone has their own. Okay, that is supposed to smell, you know, a type of way that is healthy. Okay, not like smell, smell, foul smell. But what I want you to understand is a place that is always moist, a place that is always damp, a place that is always, you know, has discharge, is prone to have infection. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It's nothing to be um, worried about. I mean, that is the way God created women. So what we should be doing is to imbibe um lifestyle that will help us to have the best and the healthiest vagina that is just how it is have the best and the healthiest vagina whether as a single as a married or whatever have the best of the healthiest vagina. so our pants is the topic for today so um <laughs> i really don't know where to go about this okay 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 so let's go Firstly, when you're choosing the type of underwear you want to wear, it is best for you to choose cotton pants. The best fabric for you to choose for your pants is cotton fabric. Wear cotton pants, okay? I know that some persons run away from cotton pants because they can absorb stains easily and difficult to wash. If you have issues about wearing pants that have any stain, stick with white. Stick with white or black or nude, if you're like me. So I'm sticking with white, nude, and um black but because you know some sexiness has to come up once in a while so there has to be red thrown in there for the days i want to help her husband so the point i'm trying to make is this choose cotton fabric cotton will help you breathe it will help the vagina to breathe and absorb all the moisture okay it will absorb the whole thing and the vagina will breathe the vagina needs a lot of air so cotton is one fabric that will help your 
vagina to be. You see all these nylon, spandex, and all fabric panties. As beautiful as they look and as great as they look, they are not so wonderful for the vagina. I'm not saying that you should not buy them. I know that me too, I also have spandex and um, nylon and all those other type of fabrics and panties, even this time. Up. But then what I'm saying is cutting is the best. Okay. If your panties has more of nylon and spandex fabrics more than cutting, you have a problem. So you can do the nylon and spandex once in a while. Okay. But the best fabric for you to use for your panties is the cotton fabric. I really want this video to be as short as possible. Next, my darling, in all you do, please make sure that you change your pants daily. There was a debate as to, okay, someone made a post on IG, it trended that you should change your pants at least three or four times every six times a day. Believe you me, because of the discharge that comes out of the vagina, some persons I know wear disposable pants. Some persons use panty liner. The persons I know also don't wear pants at all. We will address the issue of those that don't wear pants at all. We will address it later, probably in a different video. Okay, so if you can change your pants at least 12 hourly, okay, there is no rule that said you must wear one pants for 24 hours, and there is no rule that said it has to be this type of way. But what, what we consider is the health benefit of any lifestyle that we are trying to ad ad adopt. The health benefit of any lifestyle that we are trying to adopt so please change your pants at least 12 hours a day so you shower in the morning and then you wear your pants and in the evening you take it off and shower again if you find yourself in a position where it is convenient enough for you to change your pants within maybe six hours maybe you're at home or you're it's convenient for you you enter the bathroom and you notice that you're discharging and the pants is already sold and you can change it please change it nobody said you must wear it for 12 hours i'm just telling you keep the vagina as healthy as possible the next point is please sometimes for the sake of your vagina go commando now what i mean by go commando is sleep without pants yes sleep without pants it is okay for your vagina to take in all the air it can take in at night while you sleep if you are dealing with serious vagina infection you really, really, really need to be sleeping without underwear. You need to allow air to get into that place. Well, if your vagina is healthy, you can choose whether you want to wear pants or whether you don't want to wear pants. But for me, I would advise that you sleep without pants. I don't know what you're trying to protect at night. I don't know, but just allow your vagina to breathe. Mm. Air, air, air. Down there. Very, very important. Wash your pants. Wash your pants. Be kind to your underwear. Wash your pants with mild soap don't use all this hash 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 um detergent and soap on your pants because they're going to your vagina straight be kind to your pants use mild soap wash and dry outside in the sunlight Moses came for me on instagram and told me the joke is on you already my pants is a uh, how did she even put it my pant has dried in my bathroom and i've taken it inside my, I've already packed it inside my whatever, where she put her pants, however she said it. But what I'm trying to say is, go and get that pants that you dried in the bathroom and smell it. It smells ill. It smells so damp. Dry a pant outside with sun and air. Dry another one in your bathroom and then bring the two of them side by side and put them close to your nose. You will understand the type of dishonor, the type of dis... The type of disfavor that you're doing to your vagina. So it's not even a question of jokes on me. It is on you, actually, if you're not taking care of your panties. Why your pants out? What does it take? What are you hiding? Why do you have to hide your pants? The person you're hiding pants from has pants. In this century, we are still talking about people being ashamed of hanging their pants outside. Please, even if you're trying to maybe form privacy or something, just hang your pants outside. And don't hang your pants outside and then cover it with a towel. No, leave your pants to have air and direct sunlight okay I, i'm not sounding like health prefect though it's not the intention we are trying to wash your underwear different from other clothes wash them separately from other clothes that you have don't wash your pants together with other clothes that you're washing especially maybe other clothes that have been contaminated with other fluids or liquids you don't want that getting into your pants okay i remember those days when we were in secondary school we would wash our pants before bathing we would, that's the first thing you wash with the soap you're even taking to shower. Also, when you're washing your pants, try not to mix it with other panties. 
say you're treating an infection that same thing you're treating an infection try not to mix your panties all together they say the best time to change your underwear is yearly on a, a yearly basis that panties expire yearly on, on a yearly basis um some instagram vendors will even tell you that you should change your panties in six months some will say a lot of things but i think the way you should change your panties depends on how you use them someone that has like a pile of panties and maybe in a year you might end up wearing one just twice or you know i mean it's not even safe for the environment for you to be tossing things around like that it's okay for you to recycle them so changing your pants it depends on how you use them you notice a threat of an infection and you treated this infection i will personally advise that all the panties that you wore during that period both when the threat occurred and during the period of the treatment that you change them the reason is because if you don't change them, chances are that some of it might still be trapped in the underwear. So you go back to the underwear, it's like going back to your vomit. So after treating, you go back to the same underwear and the underwear continues. So it's either you change those underwear or you try to sterilize them, you know, carefully wash and sterilize them. It's the reason why you should be changing your pants or picking out the pants that you've been using when you had an episode of an infection is because there is a possibility that after treating this infection and you go back to the pants without carefully maybe sterilizing them or washing them you know extra carefully just being extremely careful you might end up getting back the infection and you continue from where you stopped before treating the infection that is why it's just safe for you to you know, just take them aside so that you know exactly where what is happening to you is coming from so one would ask how do I trace all the pants that I used when I was having infection? That is why I encourage minimal, minimal lifestyle. Be minimal with everything you do in this life so that you can be able to trace where what is happening to you is happening to you. If you have, let's say, 10 panties, 10, within a week, you've won seven. You know how to trace whatever it is that is going on with you. Unfortunately or fortunately, you have a trailer load of pants. And what happened to you happened to you. How are you going to know which one now? How do you trace it? Maybe one of those panties, you have it like in a dozen. How do you trace it? And in a week, you've won all of them and you've mixed them all back. It's difficult to trace. So in all we do, being minimal is actually very good. No matter how we want to say that nobody sees your underwear and nobody cares about what you're wearing under, I want you to know today, if you don't know it before, that your underwear has a way of boosting your confidence i belong to the big burst gang and it is difficult for you to it's not as easy as it is anyway although good bras are out there but if you don't know how to get a perfect fit for your breast your breast is going to be looking very funny so if you're not wearing the right bra you're going to be feeling somehow i mean so it goes also to your pants if you're not wearing the right you know you know feeling so confident and all but if you're wearing say you're wearing matching top toe and then um, up down and you're just confident not for anybody for yourself it has a way of affecting your confidence wearing good underwear has a way of affecting your own your own you're not doing it for anybody one thing about self-love is that it's something you know you are doing for yourself okay i'm not here to come and tell you for a man or something well there is a place for it but first of all personal grooming do it first for yourself love yourself enough to invest in good underwear there is nothing wrong with matching underwear. Nothing, nothing is sleek. It is beautiful. Okay. Have you ever wondered that underwear you're wearing right now? What if you go out and breeze with those blue and that your flag gown will go off? What have you ever wondered what will happen? Will you confidently just drag it down and you know be a lady and move? Or will you have to worry about the fact that firstly the underwear is a mess and then is now added to your shame do you understand what i'm saying so it is okay for you to invest in good underwears match underwears oh my god be it for yourself okay i don't want to make it a sexist thing but what i mean is be confident in anything you do including your underwear do not stockpile your underwear do not stockpile it when i was in secondary school there was this lady a senior student then if she washes her underwear it covers two lines i'm not joking with you one line is like is like i don't know how to measure it but really long group it covers two whenever she washes her underwear so 
those days we were like, oh, this thing will get pan to this thing will get pan. Five hundred pounds, it will line up. But right now, I was just thinking about it. So you will wear this, wear your pants. So you will wear your pants for months. So maybe in a in a, in, a, in a term before we go for um meet and break, she will wash her pants just once. So she has that much pants. Yes, she has that much pants. So I'm just thinking about. So you'll be piling this thing. Piling it, piling it to wash it once. What are you trying to show us? That you have plenty of pants. And then it was like, ah, we know the person that has a lot of panties. That is how we know her. Do you understand? You don't, you don't even compete with her. You can't. How? She's number one in other way. What is wrong? I don't think it's healthy. You don't stockpile. Because it's like you're stockpiling the the discharge, you're stockpiling the dirt from months. Do you know the fungi, the organisms, ill, the bacteria that will grow? <coughs> I don't want to think about it, but what I'm don't stop pile your pants. <coughs> I don't think about it. No, 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 no. It makes me want to puke. <coughs> I'm not joking. Don't stop pile your pants. It's gross. It's it's very disgusting. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you mending your underwear. You want to wear your pants and cram. Notice that there's a small cut, a small tear. There's nothing wrong with mending your underwear, whether bra or your pants, using your needle and thread to just put it together and wear rather than wearing it torn. There is nothing wrong with it. Don't allow anybody to make you feel like you're doing something wrong by mending your underwear. Why are we even hypocritical? People take their clothes to the tailor to mend it, and you shame someone else because the person use needle and thread to fix their underwear i'm not talking about those that have torn their clothes to dua dua no i don't mean dua dua pants i don't mean dua dua bra please if your pants and bra is extremely torn change them but what i'm saying is if they are still very good but then they are made minor tears that you can amend using your needle and thread please by all means do if your pants is torn and it is extremely torn beyond repair please throw it away don't be wearing pants with holes don't be wearing bra adokashi adokashi jesus christ please you push stop doing this <laughs> okay it's going to be past words yeah so if you're on any of these tables please i don't mean to break the table if you fell down flat pick yourself up and switch it up baby okay you find yourself in any way not getting it right with your panties whether with the choice of fabric to use for your pants whether with the choice of um underwear for yourself i didn't talk about the type of pants to wear the different types of pants and the work for different people in different ways that's not the purpose this is basically pants hygiene okay so if you find yourself guilty or not doing it so right in any of the things i've talked about you don't have to be ashamed of yourself even when i was you know reading and all about these panties and all i realized that there are even there's even a level i just unlocked right now about panties we can't really know it all and we can't really get it all at the same time so that's why most times if i want to share these videos i'm like people know people already know and the holy spirit is like not everybody knows really just share it share it this personal grooming is something I would have done in the month of, what, I think, March or April. But somehow, I just feel like personal grooming okay, for grown women. How? So, this is it. We are here. If there are questions you have about personal grooming, if there are issues you want us to talk about, if there are anything you want us to address with regards to personal grooming, pants, towels, a lot of issues on personal grooming, especially for women, please leave the comments in the comment section. Ask me any question. And moreover, we are gradually getting to 500 subscribers so we can get our community tab. That way, it will be easier for me to also relate with you guys. So, thank you for sticking around to watch this video to the end. And today is Sunday, so I made this video on a Sunday. And guys, I'm checking out and it is. Bye!